City. Victory over Belper Town has taken them to the final of the FA Vars. Mark Kiff reporting. They'd never seen anything like it at Oxford City. Getting on for 2,000 fans were at Court Place Farm. Hundreds had made the journey from Derbyshire to support Belper Town, all dreaming of a trip to Wembley. And it was the Belper fans who had the most to cheer about early on. The game was only a few minutes old when Mike Taplin gave Belper the lead. It was the last thing Oxford needed, already a goal down from the first leg. It took City half an hour to pull themselves together and from a free kick, player manager Andy Thomas leveled the scores. Then, right on half time, a superb solo effort from Darren McNamara changed the whole game. It put Oxford 2-1 in front on the day, 2-all on aggregate. In the second half, Oxford proved themselves clearly the better side, and it was no surprise when Steve Fontaine finally scored the goal that takes City to the Twin Towers. Yeah, it hasn't sunk in yet, it really hasn't. I mean, it's, the lads are like jumping up and down in the change rooms now. I was, all of us can't believe it. But to come back from 2-0 down was unbelievable. What does this mean to any footballer to get to Wembley? At this level, it means even more, I should think, even more so than at professional level. It's just something they'll never, ever forget. You know, you wouldn't even forget at professional level, but at this level, it just doesn't bear thinking about to actually play at Wembley. Um, I'm just not looking forward to picking the team, to be honest. Saturday, May the 13th is the date which will go down in Oxfordshire football history. Oxford City are on their way to Wembley. Oh, it's got to be a fairy tale. I mean, are we dreaming? Are we still dreaming? We have a club motto, if you can dream it, you can do it, but we never dreamt of this one.